to resume our program, please welcome to the stage the president of the Technion Israel Institute of Technology, Peretz Levy. A once in a generation opportunity to build a new university in New York City. Those were the words of Mayor Bloomberg in his invitation to top tier universities, once in a lifetime. I used these words when I conveyed his magnificent idea to a group of Technion deans. I asked them to prepare a proposal for a new graduate program in New York, tailor made to the economic strength of the city. Between you and me, I told them, since we have such a slim chance of winning, be wild. Be wild. Use your imagination. Think out of the box. And indeed they did. Imagine building a new university from scratch. The former and current presidents of Cornell, Professor David Scorton, who couldn't be with us today, unfortunately, and Professor Marta Pollack and myself are eternally grateful to you, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, for giving us this incredible chance to fulfill every university president's fantasy. This opportunity could not have come at a better time. One of the current most pressing issues facing universities and academic institutions worldwide is the search for the best means to adapt to the fourth industrial revolution, the digital revolution you heard so much about, the machine age. Driven by the internet of things, artificial intelligence, and the notion of robotics replacing human labor, our machines are exhibiting abilities they have never had before. Jobs in which productivity can be greatly improved by technology are already in steep decline. Tasks that are standardized, repetitive, and involve patterns can now be carried out a million times faster by algorithms. Companies are making more money but hiring fewer people. But the positions that are irreplaceable by machines no matter how intelligent these machines are, are those that require social intelligence, creativity, and perception. Characteristics we aim to cultivate here at Cornell Tech and at the Jacobs Technion Cornell Institute. And this is alongside excellence in science and engineering. The challenge put forward by Mayor Bloomberg was direct and bold. Our goal is to make New York City the global capital of technological innovation. I am looking for a university that will help us in doing that. Cornell and the Technion stood up to the challenge and came up with an entirely new concept for higher education. A place that is not only tailor-made to the economy of New York City, but is also designed to meet the challenges of the digital revolution. Cornell Tech and the Jacobs Technion Cornell Institute programs are unique. This is a revolutionary model for graduate level technology education, removing traditional barriers between disciplines. It is rapidly establishing itself as a model academic institution for the second half of the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, the campus we inaugurate today is built for the future. It will generate the next big ideas, new companies and talent that will fulfill Mayor Bloomberg's vision for New York City. Our students will become immediate players in the fourth industrial revolution and will join New York's vibrant economy. With this magnificent campus, Cornell and Technion are making clear statement. Practical knowledge, to paraphrase Ezra Cornell, is not inferior nor second to basic knowledge. They are the two sides of the same coin. This concept is part of the Technion's DNA and more broadly the state of Israel known as Startup Nation. 
the uniquely designed bridge corporate collocation building will allow us to fuse academia and industry under the same roof, something you will also find at our home campus in Haifa. In our experience, it fosters innovation and world-class research and startups for economic growth and for the public good. To come a full circle, I'd like to take one more opportunity to thank you so much, former Mayor Michael Bloomberg, on behalf of the Technion and Cornell for your vision, courage, and generosity that have taken this incredible idea and make it into an incredible reality. And I'd like to conclude with the words of one of a kind educator, Janos Korczak. The one who cares for the future plants wit. The one who cares for years to come plants trees. The one who cares for future generations educates people. Thank you very much.